appears as though I have uh, audio working on GTK record my desktop. Thing is, um, it keeps saying this, and I have to use the terminal that's included with the dock, which is really weird, but hey, it works. Now then, while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and show you some window management. By actually using my voice at the same time. So let's bring up all these. Real quick. Bring up that one, and let's go to my Excel mode by pressing my fourth mouse button, which is right near my thumb. Drag all those over there, and whew, we're here. And we can use uh, I called it expose. It's actually called the name of it. This was made before expose, though. Yeah. Mac, yeah, and for the don't know what expose is, that's a feature of Mac that lets you do that. But that was created on Linux first, and I cannot remember the name. Let me look. I look up the. It, it's been on Compass for a long time. Why did I click that? It's not it. Since system preferences advanced desktop settings. Yes, Compass, Burl, and Compass Fusion have been doing this sort of thing for a while now. So let me just close that again. All right. Let me roll down the files. It is scale, I think. Yeah, it's the scale option. It's called window picker. Yeah. <laughs> and I really like it, by the way. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I just woke up. Um, that's really weird. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna upload this as a test video, not a real video, but yeah, I'm just going to show up a little bit more. You have your regular alt tab. Then you have your ring switcher. And then you have your shift switcher, which I've set to the Macintosh's style. So I prefer this over Flip 3D, which is what Windows has. I mean, this just looks nicer to me. And uh, let's see, do I have anything new on here? Nope. Nothing new. I'm going to zoom in. Like, there's no lag when I use this recorder, which is why I want to use it. If I had sound to work, I'm definitely using it. And it appears to still be going. So let's click here. Using. Okay, obviously it found my microphone for this. It keeps telling me there's a broken pipe. Is that like flickering in the recording? Because uh, that's all I can imagine. Oh well. I mean, every recording I've ever made has some kind of flicker to it. It's just the way it works. Um, show off my stacks. Like, I already haven't. I'm pretty sure that video's already up. Um, I'm just doing this for testing purposes. Um, got my screenshots here, which I backlinked to the folder so I don't have to, like, drag anything in there. Got my weather updater and my terminal, as you can already see. We have my widgets. I love widgets, and I still have not bothered to take that all off. Yeah, I was using it for subtitles, and uh, I don't need it anymore, so that's going bye-bye. My main widgets are my calculator and my system information here. I don't really use any other widgets. Oh, that and my Xbox widget, which seems to have gone missing for some strange reason, so let's go ahead and... So this is a window on here. Oh, that's what it is? Weird. Anyway, let's bring that back up. Must have accidentally closed it at some point. Where is it? My gamer card. I love the gamer card uh, option. Let me uh, refresh it. Oh no, I need to set it. Properties. Options. Gamer tag. AJ. Got. XBL apply and refresh and refresh and refresh. Hmm, that's it, isn't it? And refresh. Do I have a theme on or something? Area. Oh, there it goes. I just need to put it on the actual theme. There's my, there's my theme. That's my favorite theme. The cylinder theme. 
Alright, I guess that's enough of that for now. Um, see how it's turned out.